Origins has two of these, and I've got a review on my channel with each of these, but these are my go-to as well. These are the Origins Fill in the Blanks Brow Pencil. This one is on blonde, and this one is brunette. So 01 blonde and 02 brunette. I'll show you the colors. Let's see if it does it justice. You can kind of see here. And the brow pencil, I also use these as an eyeliner sometimes. Just something very, very quick. Just a little bit of color. This one is the brunette. You can see that this one is a little bit darker. But it works too. It works as a liner as well, in addition to working very well on your brows. And then each of these on the Origins line have the brushes at the end. So I really like those as well. Then I've got um, several brushes here. I picked this one up at Target. Neat little brush. I use this for the highlighter. Another brush for the blush. And then two brushes to put use for foundation. And then for another, this is a mineral liquid powder foundation. This is from iNatural as well. The color of this one is porcelain. And I really like this also, but I'm not using it as much as I do the Origins Stay Tuned. I want to try and use this one more. It's just every day I just pick up the Origin Stay Tuned foundation and go, but I really need to try this one. This one is more of a matte, and that may be why I'm having more of a problem using it every day, because the Origins is a little bit more liquid form, and this one is a little bit more matte. But I do like both of those. So the other items we can share, the lipsticks, I have the L'Oreal. 916. I really, really like this one. It's more of a reddish peach color. I also use the Origins. This is, let's see what this one is, 12 English Rose. Let's see. This one's a little bit darker than what I usually use, but it really is. It's a pretty color, and I've held it up against several of the tops shirts that I wear a lot, and this one just blends really well, so I'll probably start using that more. I like I have, I've been through a lot of these and, and gotten rid of some, but these are the ones I decided to keep. The Elf, I really like this one, and you can see this one is Touch of Pink, and this is a really pretty color too. It's very similar to the, the Origins one, but a little bit different. It's got a little bit more of a shimmer to it, and as you can probably tell, I really like the shimmer in all the products. And I love, love Wet n Wild. I saw several of these on several other YouTube channels that I can't remember the names, but these Wet n Wild colors are so pretty. This one is Pink Ice 504, and I love this one. It's so pretty. And one of those go-to colors you can wear with almost everything. This is a Revlon color. I love this one as well. This one is Frost, number 716. And you can tell I use this one a lot. I really like it. And even though it has more of a red tint to it, it goes with everything. I love this. But I found too, it's very hard to find the Revlon lipstick without it being matte. I like a little bit more of the shine, the shimmer for lipsticks, but the Revlon that I found at Target and other stores, it's mainly the matte ones and I don't like those as well, but I still try to find the Revlon lipsticks that I use online when I can, at Amazon mostly. The other one is Wet n Wild. This is another beautiful color that I really, really like. You can see this one's more of a rose color. And this one is called Dark Pink. And it is a little bit darker. And it's got the shimmer. You can see the shimmer on it. It's a beautiful color. 
This one again will go with almost every outfit. It's one of the ones you can just throw in your purse and go. Here is another wet and wild. This one is beautiful. It is called Sunset Peach 512. As you can see, this is my go-to almost every single day. And I have a habit, look what I do to my lipsticks. I have a habit of like just clenching my lips together and I'll, I'll put the lipstick on when I don't have a mirror if I'm at work or something. And it just messes up my lipstick. It's so funny. But yep, that's what I do. I need to stop that. So there's three Wet n Wild. You'll see an Elf Origins. There is also a L'Oreal and then the Revlon. So those are my go-tos for lipsticks. Now, when we get to one or the final little area that I have here to store lipsticks and different items, I have the, this is from iNatural again. It's the Adorn Gel Eyeliner. I love this. You can see it's kind of a bronze color love 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 this i use it all the time but there again it's a little bit harder to remove than using eyeshadow as a liner so i usually use the eyeshadow as a liner and then when sometimes i just feel like knowing that it's going to take me longer to remove the eyeliner i will use the adorn gel eyeliner and again this is from iNatural. The concealer that I use is Origins. It's a long wearing concealer and this is the medium 02. This was in one of the other videos that I have as far as a review on it. For the eye mascara lately I've been using the Revita Lash Cosmetic this is from iNatural as well, it's the Volumizing Mascara. I love, love, love this. And I use it, the um, D18, this is um, black, the color. And I have two other eyeliner pencils. This is from iNatural, it's the gel eyeliner, it's called Mystic. This is really pretty too. But the thing is, there again, it's kind of hard to remove them kind of like a liquid, it's hard to remove, but I really, really like this one. It's it's more of a, has a hint of a blue color. And then this one is Voyage. It's also gel eyeliner from iNatural. You see this one's a little bit different. It's got a hint of a, it's almost like a brown taupe on the darker shades. Then for the brows, I always, always use, I haven't found anything that I like any better than this, it's the L'Oreal Blonde. I really, really like this. And you can see, it's the blonde. And it has the brush on the other tip. Now, Kelly Strack has reviewed some different brow pencils and also Jeffree Star that I want to purchase and give those a try but for right now that's the ones I'm using and this is another blonde one you can see I've got this one and then I've got one that's a backup in case this one runs out and I need one real quickly because sometimes they're hard to find I've got a little toothbrush to clean all the brushes and then I love this as far as a glow body glow a little bit of a tan that it'll give you instead of using some of the other tanners i don't like them because you have to use the glove and then the glove gets messy and then i sometimes get them on my clothes it's just it, it just got to be ridiculous so what i use now is the clarence paris it's the radiance plus golden glow booster i love this you put just a few drops and mix it in with your lotion that you use. Usually I do two pumps of lotion and then I drop about five different drops of this into the lotion. I mix it together and then I put it on my arms and legs. Love this product. It is great. I use the one for the eyes or the face before and I really like that one too but when I purchased the new one when I 
ran out of that, I just went ahead and got the, the body one. It is on the, the, a bit on the pricey side, but this lasts a long time and you, you'll love it. It's really, really nice. It has, does have a fragrance, a not a very strong fragrance, but it's just enough. It's very subtle, but it's very nice and it works. Without having to use some of those gloves and mess with the gloves, and I, I just could not. I could not do that any longer. Now this is a Luscious Dome brush that I got from iNatural. Absolutely love, love this brush. Love it. This is another one. This is one of the eye brushes that I got. You can see that it's one that has a little tip at the end to do. I use this for the eyeliner. I really like this. I got that at iNatural as well. And finally, we have two different additional eyeshadows. This one, you know, we saw earlier when we had three together. This one has two. This is my backup when I run out of these two shades. These two shades are in the other palettes that I showed you, but these are my backup. And these are nice sometimes when you're traveling. And if you don't want to take all three in the in the palette that has the three, you can definitely use the one that has the two. Just throw it in your luggage and go. This one's very nice too. This is one that I use when I'm traveling. I'll throw it in my luggage. It's very easy. I'll use this one as the all-over eyeshadow. And then I'll put just a touch of this on the eyes as an eyeshadow. And then I use this as the liner for the upper eyelid and the lower eyelid. And what I use this with is this brush right here. I love these brushes. You can get these at Target as well. I got this one at iNatural. And it's really nice. And I and Elf has this brush too. I, in fact, just about all the different brands have this brush, but I love this brush. I could get by with having about 10 of these brushes. I love them. And that's probably what I'm gonna do is just order a couple of these and just have them handy. So that concludes my makeup go-to routine on a daily basis. Some of these items like we were sharing, the Clarins, I don't use this on a daily basis. I use it well, every two weeks, but it's a great product. It lasts forever. Even though it is on the pricey side, it lasts forever and it is a great tanner. I just found that I like it better, much better than using some of those tanners where you have to have the glove, the glove gets messy, then I've got to wash out the glove. It just, it just got to be too much. And I think part of that problem was, it was just getting on my nerves to do it because I did not, I didn't look forward to doing. This, I can just, this booster here, this tanner, all you have to do, like I said, two pumps of your lotion, five little drops of this, Mix it together, put it on your body, boom, you're done. I love that. And it does not stain your clothes. There's no stain whatsoever on your clothes. It works terrific. So that, everyone, is my go-to routine with my cosmetics every single day. A little bit of face serum I'm mixed in with this and like I said I like to use this under my makeup sometimes if there is a breakout but like I said earlier sometimes it can get a little bit oily and that's only one con that I have against the Ablagi serum vitamin C serum but other than that it's great it's also good if you do have breakouts and you want something to quickly, quickly take care of that breakout. That serum will, will actually do it. It, like I said though, it is kind of oily, so you have to just keep in mind that it might be a little bit oily for you. But thanks everyone for coming back to the channel. Thank you everyone for staying tuned to go through my daily makeup routine and including the vitamin C serum here. And I hope everyone has a great day. Please come back to the channel and visit again, and please like and subscribe, and we will see you again soon. Thank you, everyone.